Jeeva Korja, hello my friends and you are very welcome back to Animal Crossing Wild World episode 68. And you are very welcome back to another Matty episode. I'm bringing him back today, just like I promised in the last video. So it is the next day as I filmed the previous episode. And we're gonna have some time with Matty today. So you're very welcome back to another late afternoon in home. It's about to be 4 p.m. today on Friday. So we've got some mail. I bet it is, uh, what would it be? Maybe Red's password or something like that. We just have the one letter. Oh, from Portia. Oh, you know what? It was about the birthday. That was two days ago. My my funny pal Matty, I'll be one year older on October 25th and I'm having a swanky party to celebrate. Please come hurry up, Portia. Okay, well, unfortunately we missed that. <laughs> so, whoops. It is Friday, as I said, so Red is in town today. I'm not sure Matty will be able to get a painting from Red since he's not a member and he also doesn't have any money. <laughs> so I may have to switch to Aaron uh, at the end of the episode if I want to grab the painting. So maybe we'll do that. I, I assume, I think that probably makes more sense. Oh there, friend, Crazy Red, don't know who you are, where you come from. Okay, yeah. No, I don't remember the password. I thought I would, but uh, I'm just gonna put Q because I don't know. <laughs> okay, I actually just had like a brain jog. I don't know what the word is. Something jog my memory. Is it something about means more money? I'm gonna try that. I not sure if that is. Yeah, no, it's something like that though. It's something kind of similar to that. Okay, never mind. We won't have Matty do that because uh, he's not a member either. So it probably would be easier to have Aaron do it. Let's talk to Elmer. Hey, Elmer. Oh, Matty, hi there. Let's be aggressive when we fish today, okay? <laughs> but don't go too crazy or your tail might catch fire. So what did you want to talk to me about? Say, Matty, have you seen any trees with fruit on them? You can shake them with two ways, touch the trees or press the A button. Then the sweet, sweet fruit falls to the ground like rain sent from the heavens. You can sell any fruit you collect at Tom Nook's shop, but I prefer to just plant Plant that fruit in the ground and grow a new tree. If you care for trees well, the whole town will be like a fruit orchard. Then it will be like an all-you-can-eat buffet of fresh fruit. He's literally telling us how to play the game because he thinks we're new. Here's Nan as well. And also it's 4 p.m. So it's time for the 4 p.m. music. Um, Let's keep this between you and me, but I have a little secret. It's the totally hush hush. Oh, okay. Let's see how close I was. Money makes it. What did I say? Means more money or something? Money makes it. That's funny. Did you get all that? Good. Don't tell anyone. If you want to plant any fruit, you need a handy dandy item called a shovel. Tom Nook sells shovels from time to time, so keep your eyes peeled. Oh, and you'll probably want to save up some money, just so you know. Tom Nook's store has a lot of other handy items too. You can buy a fishing rod to catch fish in the river or the ocean, or you can get a watering can to water your flowers. These items are lifesavers around the town, except for the axe, of course, but even the axe has its uses. <laughs> They're literally giving me Animal Crossing 101. <laughs> Apologies, guys. I know all of us are probably, you know, well-versed on this stuff by now. So anyways, so I thought we would have Matty do an episode today what I want Matty to do is clean up all the acorns since I assume they're going to disappear at some point but uh, we we can sell them and Matty needs money so uh, I thought we could do that is start to like pick up all the acorns um, so it feels it feels kind of festive you know what I mean feels kind of kind of fallish and um, let's talk to Pinky while we're here hi Matty wait where have you been did you take the half day well it'll be our little secret it's so nice to live like this I'm surrounded by fish maybe we should live under the sea under the sea yeah, just you and me. <laughs> I think first of all, we need to get Matty out of these clothes. So I do like his number one shirt. Yeah, I do like that, but I'm just out of curiosity. Let's see if the Able Sisters have anything for him today. Um, I kind of like that. Oh, I wish it was an M. That would be perfect. <laughs> I like that blue color though, but no, nothing particularly exciting. Mm, no, not really. That's a cool uh, paw print <laughs> umbrella parasol thingy. All right, let's just head out then. It actually is on my list to make some custom designs. I just haven't gotten around to it yet, but one of these episodes soon, I will be making some custom designs. Also some pathing as well, but also clothes too. So that would be fun. Okay, I'm just gonna go to around our house and I'm going to start picking up acorns here as well. Um, also, Matty has, he has a retro TV that Nan gave to us as a housewarming gift. So, I mean, I, I don't think... Uh, we probably have any room for it. If you guys watched the last episode, I did a whole bunch of decorating and time-lapsing. So I don't know if we actually have space for a retro TV at all. So, but I will just take a quick look inside and take a look at the TV. I mean, it is really kind of cool, but I just don't think it has a place here. Sorry, Matty, you don't really get any decorating rights. <laughs> it's all Aaron's, all Aaron's, uh, decisions. <laughs> what is the, uh, he has something else too. What, what was that again? The, oh, the plaza tile. What, what is this? Ooh, that's actually quite nice, you know, not for the, for this room, but 
That's actually not too bad. I might actually save that because I, I don't think Erin has come across that. I don't think I've seen that before. Pop the round carpet back, but let's just put the plaza tile away. Oh, Matty has different storage. That's actually really good to know. <laughs> Matty has his own storage. I don't know why I assumed that uh, it would be the same as Erin's, but actually, no, that makes sense that each player gets their own amount of wardrobe space. So that's actually good to know. That is very good to know. Maybe we could trade off some stuff. Okay, let's keep picking some acorns horns and head out. So I have a bit more space. I probably will sell our work uniform since we won't use it. And what was the other thing I had? Oh, the retro TV. Yeah, I think I'll just sell the retro TV. Don't really have a spot for it. We can always reorder it if we need to. Okay, that is, uh, that is the last item. Okay, that I will have to remember that that's there. <laughs> okay, I'll come back for that acorn, but let's sell these acorns. I think they're different prices based on which ones they are. It's the large acorn more and then the rotten acorn is not a lot. So I don't know. Either way, let's get Matty some money. He needs his own money. <laughs> so uh, let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see Matty do or are you happy to just kind of let me <laughs> just, you know, take the reins like I normally do. I just, I just kind of want to play as Matty. It's just a nice change of pace and scenery and plus I just love his sweet little face like look at him he's just so cute okay let's head into nooks it's so weird to see zero bells we haven't done that in a while oh Matty what fantastic timing on your part I completely forgotten to mention a very important thing I must ask of you now that you've moved into home the happy room academy will rate you it's not hard at all and everyone is doing it all you have to do is keep your room looking nice and appealing that's it you won't even notice the academy representatives evaluating your room and they'll send you the results of their evaluations from time to time all you have to do is try to earn a high score not too much to ask hmm? so what do you think you'll do it right um sure count me in i just knew you'd say that high scores mean you have a refined sense of style matty you see so show us all just how good your interior design skills are well good luck okay i mean i don't know i'm not really too bothered about hra for matty <laughs> he's not really in charge of decorating so let's sell what we have so 1700 bells for all that that is matty's first uh, little bit of money that was the work uniform the retro tv and 13 acorns so okay nothing here that looks particularly exciting let me see matty needs his own tools though so maybe we'll get him a fishing rod and maybe we'll leave it at that for now i don't think he's going to be watering flowers or chopping down trees anytime soon at the minute anyway so we'll leave it at that so we'll keep getting matty to round up all the acorns that might take a little while actually i may even time lapse some of this and kind of speed run through it since there is the entire town <laughs> covered in acorns but it will be nice to get rid of them as well since the uh, acorn festival is over for this year it's another year another year gone so crazy okay our pockets are already full so let's go sell what we have another thing i might do with matty today as well is you know if we need a break from acorn picking up is actually try maybe matty will be lucky in getting us apples so i might pick some fruit and have matty mail our neighbors and hopefully get some apples because we still have not gotten apples yet i've tried like three times now and still no luck so maybe matty might have some luck with a, a new character or something. There was a few other things that I had listed to mention that I never actually got. I, I don't, I have no memory if I even talked about this or not, but um, if I'm looking back through my notes, so I actually never even mentioned that we lost our hybrid flowers. If you guys remember, oh, that tree's growing, yay. Um, if you remember from a while back, I had some purple and blue hybrid flowers that I had moved to our house just outside. And I think it was before I went to Ireland, I was like, I think they probably will die. Remember I was gone for two weeks back uh, in the end of August, early September of this year. And I was afraid that someone was gonna move, i.e. Nan. I was afraid that Nan was gonna move. <laughs> Thankfully nobody moved, but we did end up losing our flowers. So unfortunately we had four hybrid flowers that no longer exist. I just could not remember if I'd even brought that up again. I meant I meant to mention that. So if I did, apologies, I have no memory of that at all. But if not, um, yeah, we did lose those hybrid flowers. <laughs> Thank you.
we've been selling acorns, as you've seen. We're now at 8,200 bells. I think I need to take a quick little break from the acorn picking <laughs> and let's buy some paper so that we can send some letters, attach some fruit, try and get some apples. So let's see what, ooh, polka dot paper. Yes, let's do that. Oh yes, yes, of course, I've got to tell you one little thing regarding one of my store's sister companies, Tom Nook point systems incorporated they recently provided me with a new point tracking machine or a ptm which means that from now on wherever whenever you shop here you earn points your shop points will be automatically tracked by the ptm so you can check how many points you've accumulated as often as you'd like i don't think i've checked that in a while <laughs> for Aaron. i mean why are you going around that way what Yes, yes, that would be chic paper. Oh, that was so weird. Why is he talking to him from there? I just want to see what the other one is. I know it doesn't really matter. Other than the chic paper, what else is there? Lemon lime. Oh, you know what? I know what that looks like. So let's go with the chic paper, just uh, out of curiosity, since I, I have used the lemon lime paper before. So I've got the paper. Now I'm going to pick some fruit. Let me see. We'll start with six. We'll just get three peaches and we'll get, what else? What do I see next? Pears. There we go. We'll get three pairs as well. So polka dot paper and chic paper. I'm just gonna put something in the letters about fruit or something. I don't know. I don't think it really matters. <laughs> Um, either way, I'm going to write all the letters and I will check back in when we are done. So the letters are written, the fruit is attached, we had the perfect amount of letters to send to everybody. There was even an option to send a letter to Erin, which I thought was very cute. So we need two more pieces of fruit. So here, I'll just grab these oranges from the orange colored tree and we'll attach two oranges and I'll just sell the third one. Here's Pate. Let's talk to Pate. Oh, like, hi there. How's life, Matty? You're one of my bestest friends in the world, but we have a boring greeting. I mean, snore. Come on. We should say something sassy and cute, just like me. You're really smart. Why don't you come up with something? Uh, understood. Yay, sweet. Okay, then I'm going to take whatever you give me. We are going to go with hi, Pally. Do you like it? That's fine. Hi, Pally. Yes, yes. Oh, perfect. That's so totally perfect. We should like spread this around home so folks know that we thought of it. <laughs> so I'm going to attach those two oranges and then let's head in and mail our letters. Ooh, optical shirt in the recycle bin. Let's take a look. All of our letters ready to go. There we go. Everything is mailed. Thank you. Do you have anything else? Nope. So how cool would it be if Matty ended up planting the first apple? That would be kind of cool. I kind of love the idea of Matty planting the apple if he gets it. And then uh, Aaron starts to, you know, replant and populate <laughs> our house, our surrounding house area with apples. How fun would that be? I think I may have got all the acorns from this area, as in around the town hall and around the shop. I shops I should say I don't see any others so I haven't yet gone to the south part of the town or finished around our house either but I think I have everything on this side so I will continue to uh, speed run through getting the rest of the acorns and letting Matty make some money I mean we may as well I know they're only acorns but like it's free money for him pretty much without a uh, tapping into the fruit supply. Not that we kind of do that a lot anyway, but we may as well, you know, pull up some weeds too. Some weeds that are definitely in awkward places. Like I'm not going to plant a tree right next to a tree that already exists. It's not going to work. So yeah, we'll just keep going with the acorns. And I also do want to try this optical shirt too, actually. Maybe I'll do that really quickly as well. No, I don't really like it. <laughs> don't like the colors. Don't really like, yeah, I actually really like the red, the red shirt. I do like Matty in red, I have to say. So I might have to get him a different kind of red outfit. Anyways, I like this one. Okay, I'm going to keep going with collecting the acorns and selling them. Hey Elmer, how's it going? I got this letter the other day, take a look. It smells kind of nostalgic, huh? What is this smell anyway? Apples are good from Erin. Oh my god, that's so funny. Hmm, I know, it smells like salt and vinegar chips. Oh, that's funny, because it's blue. That paper looks like a... Oh my gosh, Nan, everybody wants to talk to us. Well, hello there, I know you love these, so here it comes. Pop quiz time. Matty, how would you describe my relationship with Pate? Ooh, best friends. Too bad, you're wrong, totally wrong. Okay, well, not totally wrong. I mean, yeah, the two of us are pretty good friends, but it's not like we're bosom buddies or anything. I'm just 
saying. Oh, probably somewhere in between. That's okay, Nan. We don't have to be besties with everybody. It's all good. I was saying the uh, blue paper did kind of look like a salt and vinegar crisp packet. That's quite funny. Yeah, we sent that letter a while ago, though. That letter from Aaron to Elmer. That was a while ago. <laughs> Still no sign of apples. He didn't take the hint. Can somebody get us an apple, please? All we need is one. Just one apple. Oh, I'm just so excited to get an apple. When I get an apple, I'm gonna be literally gonna celebrate. <laughs> Okay, I think we are getting near the end of the acorns. I think maybe one or two more trips to Nook. One more, one or, yeah, that's, yeah, I said, I did say that right. One or two more trips to Nook and we should have it. Oh, I just spotted a fossil. I was gonna say Matty could make some bank if he starts collecting fossils uh, since the museum is full, thanks to Erin, but uh, we don't have a shovel yet, so. He's gonna have to do without. All he has is a fishing rod and uh, yeah, we got to get Matty some tools and some golden tools. Okay, I think we're almost there. Haven't seen any more just yet. Also, I don't know why, but I'm really, really enjoying the color of the sky right now. Late afternoon, early evening, kind of approaching dusk. I don't know why. I'm just, I really like how it's kind of a deeper blue up at the top, but it's slowly fading into a more faded blue towards the bottom. For some reason, oh, here's one. <laughs> For some reason, I'm just really enjoying that right now. It's it's doing something to me. <laughs> it's like good for my soul or something. I'm very much enjoying that. Okay, I think we got all the acorns. Do I have space for anything else? Oh, I got lots of space. Okay, maybe I'll sell a few coconuts too. Let Matty make some money. So heading to Nooks for the last time this episode, I did also sell the orange and the opulent, what was it called? Opulent shirt, something like that from a little bit ago those are sold so let's go sell the rest of the acorns and the coconuts so matty's bell total is sixteen thousand bells over sixteen thousand bells so that's pretty good matty did a good job today he cleared up all the acorns so that's great really happy about that so i think what i'll do now is before i end the episode i will quickly switch to erin and just pop into reds and buy today's painting and try and donate it hopefully it's one that we can actually donate um the reason why matty's not going to do it is because he needs to pay for membership and then he needs to buy the painting so that's gonna cut his bell savings in half. I just don't see the point when I can just switch over. So say goodbye or good night. No, goodbye. It's not night yet. Say goodbye to Matty for now, guys, and we will do another episode with him soon. Let me know what you would like him to do or if you just want to see more of him just pottering around talking to the neighbors. <laughs> Let me know. Um, all right, guys. Bye to Matty and I'm gonna switch out to Erin really quick. And hello, Hello, Erin. Erin's got mail too. Let's have a quick check. It's probably... Oh, it's... Oh, it's a present. Ooh, from Tom Nook. Oh, okay. Oh, of course, the classic table. Completely forgot that we ordered that yesterday. In the last episode, order for Erin. Here's a classic table. Thank you for your faithful faithful patronage. Thank you, Nookway. That's cool. Okay. I will deal with that next time. I'll set it up in the house next time. So I'm just going to pop over to Reds, as I said already. Oh, I've already forgotten the password again. It's not means more money. It's uh, money. Uh, okay. I gotta check my, gotta check my letters. Money makes it. There we go. That was the right password. So I literally almost forgot it again. It's so weird. I'm like a goldfish. It literally just keeps going in one ear and out the other. <laughs> I don't know why. Anything else of interest he has? Is that a hospital bed? Oh my god. Why would we want a hospital bed? That is for 7,000 bells. Oh my god. No, thank you. That's actually kind of creepy. The fact that he's selling a hospital bed. Like, think about that. Or don't. Yeah, anyways. So the painting is... Folks know... Folks who know, they just know, am I right or what? Uh, common... Common painting. Do we have the common painting? I need to start making a list. I feel like we have the common painting. You know what? I can't remember. I'm gonna buy it. Mm, it was kind of shady the way he said that. I'm finally rid of that old thing. Maybe I just made a mistake right there. Well, 3,000 bells isn't a huge deal <laughs> for, er for Aaron anyway. It might be for Matty. <laughs> But uh, let's just check and see. There's not many paintings that we actually have. So I need to I need to make a list that I can refer to so that when we go into reds, we can see if the if it's already been donated. Uh, common painting looks familiar to me though. So I, I kind of have a feeling I messed up. It's just hard to remember all this stuff. Let's try and donate it anyway. Yes, we've already received a common painting. This is rather humorous. Okay. Ooh, it might've been fake. Let us not worry ourselves with which one is fake. Let us look the other way. I shall just return this to you and ask you to be on your way. We look forward to seeing whatever author authentic pieces you see fit to bring. Ooh, he's hinting at it being fake. So that was interesting. Red's reaction was like, I'm glad to be rid of that old thing. Trying and remember this stuff so I can at least add it to my notes so that when 
these pop up again, then we'll know that we don't need to buy them. It's a pity that it's uh, only every week that we can do this. Perfect painting. Okay, we've got the perfect painting. Yeah, it's a pity that it's only every week, so it just makes it a little bit more awkward. This is the scary painting, isn't it? Yes, so perfect painting, scary painting. There's our common painting. And I think that's it. We only have three, right? Yeah, okay, scary, common, perfect. I will write those down. <laughs> now, before I wrap this up, I'm not going to talk to everybody. I'm just going to check and see um, anyone we haven't spoken to today. And I mean, Matty, because Matty spoke to people. But anyone that's still inside, I just want to check and see if anyone is moving. There's a couple of people we didn't talk to, so I'm just going to check in on them. And if they are moving, we will let them go on their merry way and see who will take their place. But let's check on Portia, first of all. I meant to say except for Portia too. Portia's good. Portia's still here. We need to furnish her house. This is this is crazy. Fossils and clothes, two outfits the same. Oh my gosh, Portia, you need help. Kabuki, Tank and Cube, right? I think um, Matty spoke to everybody else. So yes, uh, let's talk to Kabuki. All right, Kabuki is still going, still furnished. So thanks, Kabuki. When I said talk to, that was out of habit. <laughs> I just meant check on. So let's check on Tank next. Okay, Tank is still here, no boxes. Okay, see you, Tank. Oh, we may as well talk to our bestie, seeing as though she's right here. Hi, Nan. Hey, kid, Quackle, will my day go gets off to a good start. I feel like sharing it with everyone. I wish I could feel like this all the time. Oh, I feel that, Nan. Oh, I delivered it. Oh, I forgot to do that. Okay, you delivered it. You delivered it on time, unbroken and everything. Good job. How was Pinky? It was awesome. No kidding, that's great. I'm glad it was such a big hit with Pinky. So yeah, I guess I ought to give you a reward. A deal's a deal. Oh, 520 bells. Oh, it's usually 510. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> I completely forgot that we never spoke to Nan after making that last delivery, so I do want to talk to her really quick. Today is Friday and it's the perfect weather to walk around. Last thing, talk to Cube and see if he's gonna stick around a bit longer. Let's just check on him, see if he's not packing up just yet. Nope, he's still hanging about. Okay, see you Cube. Okay, so I'm gonna head back home and I'm gonna wrap this episode up. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments if you are, yeah, if you're enjoying the series still. Really appreciate you watching it all the way through. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you very soon in the next episode. Slang before, goodbye.